it's Mark Bossert. We're here with Dr. Harold Meinzer, chiropractor in Vancouver from Evolution Wellness, which has locations in Vancouver and North Langley. And we're here to talk about Achilles tendonitis and how lasers help a lot with this. How are you doing this morning, Dr. Harold? Great, 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 great. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, I thought we'd talk about Achilles today just because of uh, the Raptors basketball the other night and Kevin Durant went out with an injury to his Achilles. So I thought, yeah, let's talk about Achilles injuries, but more specifically to us would probably be like a tendonitis, uh, which is just an inflamed tendon. And I think most people know the Achilles tendon. It's that big one running from your heel up into your calf. It's a really big, massive, uh, massive tendon. So uh, it can get injured through all sorts of uh, different ways that we like to use and abuse our bodies. Uh, typically like overuse type injuries, like you're repetitively doing something over and over and over again, overtraining, that's a really big one, right? So if you're running and then all of a sudden you wanna ramp up your uh, schedule, so you increase intensity, you increase duration, you start adding heel work and other things and your body's not adapted or ready yet, that's always a, a, a really big one. And then the one that I see probably most in the office is uh, the deconditioned tissue. Uh, and that just means vacation tissue. That's the typical office worker who's at their desk from nine to five for the past five or 10 years, does minimal exercise and then softball season starts and they, they, their mind thinks, man, I can run between first and second. And as you start to do that, your Achilles goes, no, I haven't done this in five years. And it just blows up on you. So that's a, a, a very common one. So when you mentioned blow up, it's, we're talking about uh, tendonitis, which is essentially it's inflammation within the tendon sheath, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it's inflamed. When I'm talking about blowing up, that would be more of a uh, like micro tears into that tissue. At worst, it can actually rupture and tear, and that's like a surgical procedure, and that can take uh, months and months and months to to year to to resolve. Uh, the the sort of the smallest injury would be the tendonitis, the overuse. It's just irritated, inflamed, uh, and then it's painful, right? It's constantly pain as you walk and move and the average person takes 5,000 steps a day. So, you know, think of something being irritated and you're irritating it another 5,000 times per day. So it gets into a real cycle of chronicity. Chronicity. <laughs> Not Chronic. synchronicity like sting, but chronicity. Yeah, <laughs> chronically hurting. Yes, exactly. So how does the laser help? Uh, so like we've been talking about in this whole series is uh, that anti-inflammatory effect of the laser. So the Achilles tendon is like white tissue. I, I always think of it as white, like it's a tendon, uh, like muscle, like your glute or your hamstring is big and beefy, it's red, the red tissue. So it's got a big blood supply. And so the white tissue doesn't have a lot of blood supply. So we really wanna increase or maximize the amount of blood that we can get into that tissue for healing, right? Blood brings those building products for healing. And so we wanna get fresh stuff in and we wanna take out all the byproducts of that inflammatory condition. And so by using that, that works as an anti-inflammatory and then also stimulating those cells to repair. And the faster we can repair that tissue, then the faster uh, the symptoms will abate. So what would a, an Achilles treatment kind of look like when you were doing that? Uh, typically the Achilles treatment, um, I always will look into the calf muscle as well. So the calf muscle will come uh, uh, or start high and then the Achilles turns into that, it goes in the heel. So we'll use this really uh, awesome applicator. It's a quartz ball, fiber optic cable, the laser light goes through, and that way we can make really great contact with the skin and tissue, and then I can roll over top of it, and this is the application. So generally I'll start higher up from where the injury site is, and then we'll work our way down. We're opening up blood flow high to low, uh, and so we're not just gonna just sort of look at that one specific spot that's injured, but we'll look a little more globally as the how the whole uh, foot and ankle works. So this is like a, I, I find this a really comfortable treatment because I can put a little bit of pressure into the tissue as well. And in any little knot or uh, adhesion, then we work that out uh, as we go through that treatment. So most of my patients always joke that it's like the most comfortable treatment that, uh, that I offer. They don't fall asleep, but if it was long enough, they probably would. Yeah, it, 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 I can attest it's quite comfortable and warm and it feels good actually. So. The Achilles is pretty close to the surface, so I imagine that you probably get some pretty good um, results with this. Yeah, we get really good results with the Achilles. Uh, it's a tough condition to treat just because, uh, like I said before, we're always on our feet. And uh, a lot of people think like, oh, I'm resting, you know, I've stopped playing softball, I stopped running. But you're still 
on your feet, you know, 5,000 times. So that really can irritate it. So, you know, we will also include uh, some rest, obviously ice, stretching we have to be careful with, um, uh, proper warm-ups always, you know, for those weekend warriors. Uh, then after the acute condition is done, then strengthening into that area. And sometimes cross-training is effective as well because we're doing one sport and we're not doing enough of other things to kind of balance it out. So different type of movements can be uh, effective uh, uh, for that as well. What about some of the training kind of protocols and stuff? How soon can someone go back to training? Is it like completely without any kind of pain at all before there's all the pain's gone? Like what would you prescribe? Generally, if it's in a really acute uh, tendonitis, then we're going to stop activity depending on the athlete because some athletes need to uh, train a little bit or be ready for a competition. So then we might stop altogether because training right at that point is not going to make any difference, but we just need them to be able to function at that uh, uh, end result or for that tournament or that race. So a lot of times we'll sort of cut everything back, scale it back for uh, like a two to three week period where we're going to treat them. And then we'll slowly start to try to integrate. So you got to test the water at some, uh, at some, at some point and we'll test the water, see where they're at. And then it's kind of a case by case basis to see how soon we can integrate that activity back again. But generally we get some great results. It's uh, like I say, it's a very kind of chronic and difficult condition to treat without a laser. Um, uh, that really speeds up that healing process and gets people back on the field. And that's why the, you know, Seattle Seahawks, Toronto Blue Jays all use, you know, the same laser in, in, their, in their dressing rooms. Um, and is there any other pieces of information that are important to this? Like what about footwear and that sort of stuff? Yeah, I think footwear can make a big difference uh, uh, that you have a, a base of support and stability. Uh, you're wearing the proper footwear for the proper sport, all those things. And also that you're not using footwear that's sort of aged or dated. You know, there's lots of people that are running and they're doing a lot of kilometers and their shoes should have been thrown out, you know, six months ago. So uh, you really want to, you know, look at your feet a little bit differently because they do carry you for your lifetime and uh, treat them well. You, know, you want to treat those feet well. And the treatment protocol, just to reiterate, I imagine it's probably similar to some of the other treatments we've talked about every other day, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Every other day, I'll try to try to get them in every other day. Sometimes I'll do some soft tissue work into that calf muscle as well if I find adhesions that I want to break up and loosen up. Uh, that's not as quite as pleasant as uh, no, it's not. Light source, but needs to be done. And so we can break up those adhesions. And we'll treat every other day. Usually I say to, to patients uh, six, six treatments and then we'll reevaluate at that point. I'm not here to sort of waste time or money for, for people. If it's not an effective um, modality at the time for the patient, then we're going to refer them out to someone else. But generally uh, that six treatment uh, point is the reevaluation point. And we'll say, well, are you 50% or are you 80% better? And then we'll make another uh, determination for the next uh, protocol. And do you work with other like athletic trainers or any other ex experts in this realm as well? I, I, I used to treat uh, the BC Ballet with my brother and uh, I'm working with the Langley Rivermen right now. And it's a local junior hockey team. Um, so I like sports and sports injuries. That's sort of my background uh, with soccer and other sports. And uh, I, I like the sports aspect because uh, I think I understand the mentality of the athlete wanting to get back on the pitch or the field or the ice surface as fast as possible. And sometimes it, you really need someone to say like, okay, slow it down. We're going to have to take a little bit of time now so that you're actually not going to be, so you'll be back on the ice in a shorter period of time. But it's, sometimes it's difficult negotiation with, a, with an athlete. Absolutely. So there you go. If you have some problems with Achilles tendonitis or any kind of twitches in your Achilles, the guys to see are the guy to see is Dr. Harold Meisner at Evolution Wellness. You can reach them at 604-881-2404 to book your appointment. They're located both in Vancouver and North Langley. Uh, you have to call him book because he's busy. Uh, he's got lots going on, lots of clients to, uh, who uh, need some pain help, and this will definitely help. I've had Achilles treatment myself. It worked really well. Thanks a lot, Dr. Thanks a lot, Mark. Have a great afternoon.